Okay, here we are. Uh, first of all, uh, just wanted to point out with this uh, contour camera, I can actually use my um, cell phone as a viewfinder so I can see where the camera's pointing. And I'm actually looking at my hand in the cell phone right now. So I'm doing a uh, just a basic video of the things that I use for metal detecting. And here you can see I have uh, this pouch here uh, goes on this whole belt that I actually had to improvise on and make make up a little bit because it didn't quite fit my fat belly. But anyway, I use this portion of the of the uh, belt to hold my pin pointer and a few other little gadgets, maybe a screwdriver. It'll also hold, uh, like in this little area right here, I can put a, a rag to put beside my hole and put dirt on it and so I don't lose any dirt. Of course, my uh, Bounty Hunter pouch. And, uh, you can see, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to use this with a monitor. Uh, so that's my belt. Let me get that off of here. Uh, next, you can see my brand new uh, AT Pro. And uh, I've actually had it for about, I'd say, six weeks. Here I've got it disassembled and put into my carrying case because I'm going down to Texas to see my son where I will be able to metal detect. But here in Michigan the ground is frozen so no such luck. I've got the standard uh, 11 inch double D coil as you can see here uh, with the headphones and I actually have the waterproof headphones not shown here in this video. Uh, over here since I'm going to be traveling, I've got a couple of padlocks for the unit. I've got a, a little clip-on flashlight. Uh, so if it gets, starts to get dark, there you go. Dollar store special, one dollar. And uh, my wife bought 20 of them for her for work. And I actually got about, I don't know, five or seven of them myself. My little shovel, got at Home Depot. It was like eight, nine bucks. Of course, my Garrett pinpointer. You can see I have uh, tape on the speaker to keep dirt out and to muffle the sound a little bit. It's a little bit loud, and you want to be as inconspicuous as you can. And then the extra piece up here on the end, just to make it so it's more visible when you put it on the ground. You know, you got this red tape and uh, easy to spot. Uh, my hand trowel. I know a lot of guys got the nice uh, Lasky or, or the Garrett trowels, but this trowel here just seems to work really, really good. It's sharp right here on the, on the point of it, and serrated on the side, and on this side is, there's a blade. So, you know, it's, uh, it's beveled as well, so it does actually scoop dirt and pull it out of the hole. So... You know, that, that has worked out really well for me. The next thing here is, is really important, and that's my uh, knee pads. Now, you know, you can, you can spend five bucks and get a cheap pair of knee pads, but that's exactly what you're going to get. And I will say these are gel-filled. I don't know if you can see that, but these are gel-filled. And uh, they were a little expensive, but... I will say that my knee pads paid for themselves. The, one of the first times I used them, I actually stepped out of the car, uh, put my knee pads on, and started getting things ready. And I was kind of excited. It was one of my first hunts. And I headed towards uh, a beach, a local beach. And I stepped up onto the sidewalk from the parking lot, and it was a little higher than I thought. I tripped and fell and landed on my knees and my knee pads saved me. Otherwise my knees would have been uh, hurting for sure. Next thing is, is, is you want a good pair of gloves. 
these have breast cancer awareness and they're uh, sort of lined with this plastic on this side for wet sand or wet dirt. These work excellent. Uh, they're not meant to keep your hands warm, but to protect your hands from objects, you know, sharp objects, glass, whatnot. You know, this is fairly tough stuff on here and works pretty well. They clean up real nice too. These were really dirty and uh, I just rinsed them out under the uh, faucet for the most part and then threw them in the washing machine and they came out great. Uh, this is a jeweler's loop and I can use that you know when I get coins you know you're constantly seeing guys on here I uh, can't tell the, the date they pull out a magnifying glass still can't see it well, I'll wait till I get home and get my jewelers loop where I carry one on me you know they're they're really inexpensive they're like five bucks on eBay and uh, this one's like a it's a 40 times so it, it's it really brings it up close and I like it um, little tube for my coins I won't hold a, a half dollar or a dollar. I actually need to get something, pick something up for that. But this will hold most uh, quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. Uh, extra batteries. These are rechargeable batteries. This is for the computer part of the AT Pro. And then, of course, a regular 9 volt battery for my uh, pinpointer and a magnet. You know, that uh, helps me find out if something is, is uh, going to be magnetic or not, and usually iron or whatever. But uh, as you notice too, the case that everything is in, this is actually a double gun case that I bought. And I've never really used it. I think I may have used it once. Uh, but I'm going to be flying to Texas, and I've already had it closed, and it fits perfectly. The... Uh, the detector alone fits in there perfectly. How much of this other stuff I'll be able to get in here, I don't know. I don't intend to take the shovel. But the rest of my stuff, uh, I'm hoping I can cram as much of it in here as I can get without, you know, hurting my detector. But, uh, well, there you have it. I hope that may help you uh, when you go to get into this hobby. You'll uh, sort of make a little checklist of stuff you want to have. You know, this little flashlight right here. If I'd have had this earlier on, I would have been able to dig a little bit more before things got frozen up out here. I uh, got dark on me one of my last hunts, and I didn't have a light with me. And I've got tons of head flashlights and things, and just didn't do it. But So this is just a little tip. Go to the dollar store and pick these up and buy extras, because for a dollar, you can't even buy the, the batteries that are in this at Walmart. So well worth the money and you see it's a pretty good light I can't think of much anything else that you really have to have um, part of the mess down here in the basement we're uh, doing some renovations upstairs and actually trying to refinish some of the furniture so sorry about the mess down here but I hope this video helped you out thanks for watching